क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव गॉट टू नो अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ द बॉन्ड बिटवीन द कार्बन एंड हेलोजन इन हेलो अरिंग्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन सम फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन वी प्रिपेयर हेलो अरिंग सो टॉक अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हेलो अरिंग्स हेलो अरिंग्स कैन बी प्रिपेयर्ड बाय टू मेथड्स एक्चुअली एंड दोस मेथड्स आर एज़ फॉलोस वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट अबाउट द फर्स्ट मेथड इज That is lactophilic substitution reaction. So let me talk about this one with the help of an example. Suppose if we have to prepare an um, haloarene and that is from uh, an aromatic compound. In that case, suppose if I consider the aromatic compound to be that is benzene. So this is something that I am talking about where I have introduced an aromatic compound along with that of suppose a halogen that is what we have to introduce over here. So suppose that halogen is basically in the molecular form. That is X two, but this reaction doesn't take place by its own. We have to provide certain kind of condition, and that certain condition is we have to use certain kind of catalyst. And in this case, basically, Fe it will act like a catalyst. That is, the iron it will act like a catalyst. And this process should be done in a dark environment. So the process would take place in such a manner that is an electrophilic substitution reaction takes place over here. So suppose the uh, this is the overall general reaction that I am going to talk about. So suppose We know that is uh, the benzene consists of six hydrogen atoms over here, and hydrogen is basically more electropositive. While in the nature of uh, uh, that is uh, the carbon and uh, halogen atom, we have got to know that is uh, due to resonance effect and due to various conditions, the carbon is basically more electronegative, and that's the reason that the hydrogen over here is, will be basically more electropositive. So now that hydrogen will be able to uh, move out along with that of uh, this one halogen atom, and it will be moved out in the form of that is H X. So that uh, X that has been uh, that was acting like an, a nucleophile, and that's the reason it has a negative charge, and that was uh, and that have ejected that is the H plus ion, and that has been removed in the form of H X. So the remaining part that we have is basically an halogen which is electropositive, and that is basically it is acting like an electrophile, and that basically substitutes the uh, hydrogen over here, and that is the reason that we could get the product as. This one, and this is basically known as haloarene. Basically, we could call it as mono halogen derivative of arene. So this is what we have over here. And let me give you an example of uh, this case. Suppose if we have to prepare that as a uh, chlorobenzene. So the thing that we have to consider is we have to consider a benzene, and we have to react it with that is the molecule. That is the uh, hello arrange that we need, and uh, based on that desire, we have to introduce basically that uh, uh, halogen molecule. So this is what we have, and uh, certain condition that is what we have to apply. That is uh, in uh, uh, Fe in presence of Fe catalyst, as well as the process should be done in the dark condition. So therefore, the product that we could get is we could get as uh, chlorobenzene. Along with that of that is HB HCl. So this is what we will get over here, and so this can this kind of reaction can be also done with the help of uh, that is uh, uh, if we react uh, benzene along with that of uh, suppose bromine molecule in the same condition that is in presence of Fe catalyst and in presence uh, of a dark condition, then we could obtain that is bromo benzene, and this is the reaction that we could get over here. So this is basically the electrophilic substitution reaction. So now let me talk about suppose if we have a particular uh, uh, aromatic compound which uh, has also a side chain and that side chain suppose of which uh, also consists of an, a substituent and for that suppose if we, if that kind of reaction undergoes that is a substitution reaction. So what is the product that we could get and let us talk about that. So suppose if we have that is a toluene. That is CH three, and suppose if we have to make an halo arene, and that uh, halogen suppose it consists of that is the chlorine atom, so therefore we have to use that is chlorine gas over here, a chlorine molecule in presence of uh, Fe as a catalyst, and now we could find that is there would be two kind of possibility. That is once we know that is uh, H HCl is the one that would be uh, removed as a byproduct, but 
the electrophilic substitution as we have did in our earlier lecture also that is during uh, the lecture where we have discussed between uh, the nature of uh, that is uh, the bond between carbon and hydrogen so in that case we have did the resonance and uh, we have got to know that is uh, the electrophile they have more uh, capability to attach on the ortho position or on the that is uh, para position so based on that thing only we can easily we could say that uh, the electrophile that would attach on uh, that is ortho position as well as on the para position. So suppose if we consider that reason, then we could get two kind of possibilities, and that's the reason that we could get one of the product as this one, while the other product would be or the other possible product that would be. This one plus HCl, it would be the byproduct. So, this is what we have got over here. And uh, suppose a mixture of compound, if we will get over here, suppose if I am for, for this maintaining the stoichiometry over here, so I am just uh, multiplying it by 2. So, suppose uh, to obtain uh, the uh, product, and in this case, basically, there will be mixture of product that we could get, but this kind of product that we have got over here that is one is uh, an ortho substituent while the other is para substituent so now that could be separated very easily because of the uh, physical constant of this two product that we have got, got over here is basically large and that's the reason there is a large difference between the physical constant of this product that we have over here and that how they could be basically they could be easily separated and this is what we can get uh, the product so therefore the product that we have obtained over here is this is known as ortho chloro toluene and well, this is known as para chloro -tolu. so this is what we have got over here and this is basically the general reaction that we can do over here but in this case basically we can't do fluorination the reason behind that is fluorination uh, during fluorination the product that we will obtain is basically very much hazardous and that is very much reactive and that's the reason that uh, uh, we avoid that kind of preparation so so now let us move on to the next method of preparation and that is and that is by cyanomerase reaction so what is a cyanomerase reaction let me give an idea here first and from which we could easily prepare an uh, uh, halloween but for cyanomerase reaction we need a particular uh, aromatic compound that should consist of an amine and for example suppose if i am introducing here that is aniline so this aniline is now being treated with a mixture of that is uh, uh, sodium nitrite along with that of HCl and that also in low temperature so suppose if this reaction continues with the help of that is sodium nitrite that is NaNO2 plus HCl at 273 Kelvin or that is uh, between 0 degree Celsius to 5 degree Celsius so suppose if this reaction condition is being maintained in this way so therefore the product that we could obtain is basically uh, an uh, diazonium salt so therefore we could get the product as Suppose in this case we have used HCl, that's the reason that the product that we could get over here is basically it will consist of that is N2 plus and Cl which consists of minus. So this is the product that we have got, got over here and uh, basically this is a very unstable product and the name of this product could be given as that is diazonium. So the intermediate that we could get over here is basically a diazonium salt and the name of this salt is basically benzene diazonium chloride. So this is the product that we could get over here but uh, this is basically more uh, unstable so that's the reason we have to treat it with uh, in presence of that is cuprous chloride that is CuCl2. So in this manner basically the N2 or basically uh, this would be uh, evaporated in the form of N2 because uh, it is very unstable and the product that we could get over here is basically the benzene ring along with that of 
सी आई इसलिए फ्लोरबेंस So this is how we have prepared that is chlorobenzene. But how can we prepare that is uh, bromobenzene with the help of this aniline? It is very much simple, and uh, let me try that also. Suppose if we have to prepare bromobenzene from aniline, so it is very easy process to make it. That is, we have to consider aniline, and we have to treat it with uh, that is. Uh, sodium nitrate again but in presence of hbr and the temperature that we should maintain is basically between 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius and uh, this is what we could form a diazonium salt and uh, the product that we could get over here is basically it would be n2 plus br Basically, the name of this one could be given as that is benzene diazonium bromide. Which on further reaction with uh, that of uh, that is if I would consider that is cuprous bromide that is Cu two Br two, then the product that we could get over here is basically it will consist of. Bromine that has been replaced uh, the aniline and this kind of product that we have got over here is known as bromobenzene. I would mention it over here. And this overall reaction is basically known as Sandmeyer's reaction or Sandmeyer's diazonization. So this is what we have got to know over here. So therefore, these are the two methods from which we could prepare the haloarenes, and that's it. This is what I want to talk about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to, to know that how can we prepare an uh, Halloween. So that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you will share this video with your friends and guys don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.